that a strong look? <laughs> Good morning. We'll do it one more time, just in case. Facebook takes a snapshot. I don't know when they do it. Is it four seconds, five seconds? All right. Welcome to the Daily Dose, episode 116. And we're going to talk about strength. I was trying to do one of these, but I figured this would be a good one. Where do you get your strength from? That's what we're going to be talking about today. But first, let me just share with you, Mark Avens. I'm the creator of the Lean Body Breakthrough, a program, an online coaching program designed for moms and dads over 40 who are looking to lose weight, lose weight and get it off for good and do so without long workouts and impossible diets. But today we're going to kind of change from talking about losing weight to strength. Where do you get your strength from? And we're going to share that with you here in just a moment. So I'll just kind of tell you if you have not come on to the Daily Dose, if you never watched me before, 116 days ago, actually it was about probably 120 days ago, maybe a few more. It was like right at the start of the lockdown. We were coming off a of spring break. We had a fantastic trip in Colorado, first time ever there. And uh, everything just kind of changed. And there was a lot of discouragement, a lot of, you know, people that were upset and sad and disappointed and life kind of got thrown upside down, right? And it feels like it's been in a washing machine just kind of on tumble <laughs> for the last period of maybe three or four months. But with that, I also decided that I know that it helps for me to work through the things that I'm going through in my day and challenges, just like many of you who have kids and jobs and had to shift and adjust is that encouragement really helps. So I figured if I needed encouragement, why not help by providing some encouragement? And that's truly really what the Daily Dose is for, um, is to provide some encouragement for you. And today we're gonna talk about strength and where you get your strength from. So I guess my question is to you, where do you get your strength from, right? And you're thinking, well, you're the coach, right? You get it from lifting weights, you get it from doing push-ups, do you get it from <laughs> do you get it from uh, what else sit-ups and crunches and squats and lunges and those are all great things and certainly can, they can help provide your strength and I have a really cool story I want to share with you and uh, it's gonna tie in today really really well um, just it's uh, it's something that I think even in your moments where you feel you're strongest sometimes uh, things can take a complete left turn right I don't know if it's left or right left turn it can take a p complete you know 180 degrees and you can feel even if you feel you're strong as you can you don't have any control so we're gonna talk about that and uh, one of the things that being strong takes is boldness right one of the things that I've learned and I don't know if you've experienced before some of times and now if you wonder you're like no 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 how uh, boldness it doesn't take boldness to be able to do push-ups and strength and I'm talking about a different kind of strength I'm talking about a different kind of of power, if you will, or you know, you think of muscular strength. I'm not talking about that strength because to be honest with you, I'll just share with you that despite me being a 47 year old who feels like I can, I can hold myself and I'm strong, I can put up a good fight, is that's not truly where I got and where I, I getting, I'm getting my strength from right now. And I hope if you're listening to this and you're struggling with finding the strength to get through another day, is that you learn and understand. And even if you're not a believer, if you don't have faith yet, it's okay. I didn't for a while, but I can tell you when I discovered a different kind of strength, it came from God. It was called more of a God confidence, a God boldness. And I realized when I started to lean in on God and his path for my life is that he shared with me a different kind of strength. And I have a, a story to share with you in just a moment. So sometimes, you know, whether it's, it's, pursuing the right choices in your walk, in your direction, in your life, it takes boldness, right? It takes courage. It takes confidence. And I'm not talking like a, a cockiness, like an arrogance kind of confidence, because if you know anything about God, you know it's nothing but the complete opposite. It's, um, it's a true confidence and a true boldness. And it's a hard walk to, to travel down, right? And it's a hard path. But I can tell you when when I discovered what this God confidence was like and this God type of boldness, it changed my world completely. And I gotta share this story with you because I can tell you when, you, when you're bold and you know God is on your side, I'm gonna just kinda just kick it off with this. When you're bold and you know God is on your side, you can't lose. You 100% can't lose. And I have a story to share with you. When I discovered when I discovered really this whole relationship with God and my path and understanding this relationship with God and having that, 
that relationship with God through Jesus Christ. I said the Jesus word. Yes, I'm not trying to push religion on you. No, I'm not religious, to be honest with you. I honestly feel like I'm not religious at all, but I do have strong faith. And I'll tell you where that came from, a kind of confidence and a boldness. And the story goes like this. Back when I said, you know what, God, I want a relationship with you through Jesus. And when I accepted him into my life, I took the direction of going on a mission trip. I had no idea what that looked like. What's a mission trip? All I knew is it was a surfing trip. And I was like, holy cow, this is really cool. I can go surfing with some guys. And maybe like, I don't know what this looks like, but we're going to Costa Rica and we're gonna surf. It was a men's surf trip back in, I think, 2010, back when I opened the gym. And actually I just opened a gym and it was kind of scary because I put my whole life in it. And I really couldn't leave, but God gave me a different kind of boldness, a different kind of confidence. So I went on this trip with about maybe 20 guys, 15 or 20 guys. And be before the trip, I have to share this with you because I was the gym owner. So I said, all right, guys, you guys can come to my gym. We'll work out a, a plan and you guys are gonna get strong. We're gonna get strong and we're gonna be able to, you know, surf big waves and, you know, and I knew fitness, right? I'm the fitness guy. So we're gonna, we're gonna get in those waves and we're gonna surf and then we're gonna do some ministry. I don't even know what that looks like, but we're gonna do some, we're gonna push kids in waves and we're gonna do all these great things and then we're gonna get strong for it, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we did, right? And we did, legit, physically speaking, we got in really, really freaking good shape for this trip. You know, it was like a couple months out and we started to train for all summer. Uh, it was actually all winter long for the summer. So anyway, we get on this trip and I had no idea what that looks like. And I remember we went on some waves that were bigger than I ever. I thought I was gonna lose my life. It was crazy. But that wasn't the thing that I realized God was making me strong for. <laughs> it wasn't the workouts in the gym. It was when it came time to spending quiet time with God and understanding what that looked like is starting this path on a relationship. And I was like, holy smokes, I'm, I was scared. I didn't, I felt weak, really weak. Even despite my strength, my physical strength, I really fe felt weak because here I am at, you know, in my late thirties, not understanding what this is about. And I see these young guys that, uh, that are completely sold out for the Lord. And I didn't know what that looked like. I just knew that I wanted a piece of it. And what the crazy thing is, God gave me this kind of boldness and confidence that didn't come from a workout. It didn't come from the, the strength of how many push-ups I could do or how many sit-ups or how many pull-ups or any of that kind of stuff. It came from looking at others on a, a, a little further path in their faith journey and saying, it's okay to talk about your feelings. Wait, 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 I'm a guy, like I'm a dad. You don't do that. You don't talk about your feelings. You don't share the things that you're struggling with. But that's exactly what we did. And when I saw others doing that, when I saw others being bold in their faith and showing a kind of strength and God confidence, it freaking blew me away. Like, ooh, I, even now, I, didn't even, I had no idea I'd get emotional about it, but it's something that when I got to share my testimony, my story about how we came to the Lord and how our son went through a troubling time with his his health and two years of just completely out of control. Maybe right now, again, you feel you're completely out of control. It might only be three or four months. Do you feel that way? Are you struggling? Yeah, I've been there too. It was two years that we didn't know what was gonna happen with our son and his health. But when we started to understand there's a different kind of strength, a different kind of confidence, a different kind of boldness, if we knew that we could cast all our fears and anxieties over to him, cast him over to God because he cares so much for you. He cared enough to put his son to the cross. Like that kind of confidence and boldness that blew me away. And it sold me out too. After that trip, I was just completely, you know, it wasn't necessarily the trip, but it was definitely a catalyst to the path that I'm on now. And it's really, if I can share anything with you today to encourage you moving forward in a direction, not worrying about what's next in the next six months or maybe the next 12 months or whether there's gonna be a, a, a second lockdown or you're gonna, you know, there's gonna be other destruction and damaging things and you may have broken relationships and, you know, terrible circumstances, not so much that, because they may come regardless. The Bible tells us that there will be troubles of many kinds, it's not if, there will be. And how do you prepare? You can prepare trying to figure it out on your own and try to work you know, try to work your best at, at, at solving the problems that you don't even know exist yet. Or you can go in boldness and walk in faith and understanding that, that God's got it. You just have to let him get it for you. Does that make sense? There's a boldness there. So this trip is kind of crazy that I didn't realize 
from that first mission trip that I went on. And here we are kind of sharing the love of God. And I didn't even know what that looked like because I'm just learning that for the very first time. And then we start pushing kids on waves and that was awesome and it was great and showing the love of Christ into kids' lives who really don't understand what that is either. And neither did I. And then to be in a room of men who are breaking down and talking about their broken marriages and talking about their their addiction problems and talking about their struggles with porn and struggles with with their money and finances and struggles with their health and it got open and it got real and it got transparent and it's like man that's the kind of strength that will build the boldness and confidence you need to get through right now and today but it doesn't happen without being intentional here here's the thing i want to share with you because maybe you're just stuck in a rut and i'm not even talking about fitness this has really nothing to do it's a different kind of fitness it's a spiritual type of fitness I cannot wait to share with you if you do get a chance. If you're listening to this and you get it before, don't worry, I will record it. I have uh, an amazing person I'm gonna be, uh, I'm privileged to get in a conversation with at 11 o'clock today. Her name is Isabel Price and our paths crossed because she shared the same pursuit in her faith and is doing some amazing thing, amazing things for the kingdom in her pursuit as a nutritionist and is helping and helping millions, I'm not talking a few hundred people or a few thousand people, millions of people in the world. And I have the privilege and honor to having a conversation with her later this morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time, please show up for it. We're gonna Zoom it and we're gonna stream it through here on Facebook, come show up for that. And we're gonna talk about having a faith-fueled, uh, faith-fueled direction and talking about a healthy, fit life and what that means for you and for your family. Uh, she's a mom, has two kids, I'm a dad, I have two kids, and we're going to talk about that and we're going to get real and it's really, you know, it's pretty interesting. And how did that happen with her? I'll let her share her story, but as far as just having this boldness and this this direction of confidence and strength to move forward. And here's the thing, I, I something came up in my memories and I want to share this with you. Is it's by, And I can't honestly, I, I didn't look back who John Shedd was and I can't recall offhand. But I remember this quote I loved, and I think I posted a couple of years ago. Think about this: a ship in harbor is safe, but that's not what a, that's not what ships are made for. You think of that right now. You know, sometimes it's easy just to like hunker down and hide from all your problems and struggles and try to handle them yourself, right? However that looks. But if you think of what God has for you, your path for your life, and I don't know what that looks like for you. That's between you and Him. And your plan, your plan is your plan, not my plan, uh, not my friend's plan, not your wife's plan, not your kid's plan, it's you and your plan. But it's interesting to have the kind of courage and boldness to lean on him to help show you that plan and so that you don't stay in the harbor. Life is not meant to stay in the harbor. You're not meant to stay docked with the anchor around you and, and sitting down in one spot. You're meant to go share what you know, your gifts, your talents to the world. And if you're a faith and a believer to share those talents with other and share them the love of Christ, just as the guys did on, my, on the mission trip to share with me their story and their pursuit. And it was an amazing thing. And I hope and wish and pray for you and the encouragement to give you the kind of strength that you need and understanding that true strength comes from a kind of God confidence. You can't get any better strength and boldness than a God type of confidence. So I'm gonna share with you just a couple of scriptures and that's it for me this morning. So check this out, boldness comes from our confidence in Christ. The Holy Spirit helps continue God's plan with boldness. Romans 8.31 says, what then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? So what are the things that maybe stop you from being strong and bold and courageous and confident? is that you feel that people are coming against you. And here, when you have God in your heart, you have the Holy Spirit living in and through you, there's nobody can get against you. Well, they can try, but when you have that kind of God confidence, nobody can take you out. Trust me, they will try hard. And even I think when you develop that kind of God confidence, they'll even try harder, but trust me, there's a boldness and a path and a plan and a kind of courageousness and strength that only can come from God and through God. So listen, that's Romans, Hebrews 13, six, I believe, or six. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Look, there's gonna be a lot of people that come against you. There's gonna be a lot of 
struggles and challenges, maybe relationship and, and worldly type difficulties. But if you got the Lord as your helper, um, don't fear. Cast out the fear. Fear is crippling. It's paralyzing. I see a lot of people. And if you're one of those, I'm, I'm going to pray for you is that there's a state of fear right now. And it's not to be cautious, but there's a state of fear. And I would say is while there is things to be cautious about, obviously there's lots going on in this world, things that we can't control, things that we can control. But the hard thing about fear is that can be completely paralyzing, completely crippling. And that's not the kind of courage that God has for your life. It's not the kind of boldness that he has for you or the pan, the plan or the path that's set out for you. And in 1 Corinthians 16, 13, remain alert. Listen to this. Remain alert. You got to stay alert. Keep standing firm in your faith. Keep on being courageous and strong. Listen, over the last three or four months, as much as I would like to say that it's because I've taken care of my health and because I got workout goals and because I eat healthy, that is where I get my true strength from. It's not at all. My courage and my strength and my boldness, and yes, you know, I feel comfortable and confident in my health and my personal health walk and journey. I better, I'm a fitness coach, right? Duh. <laughs> but I can tell you, being completely transparent and open and honest, my true strength and my true courage comes from leaning on God and leaning on the kind of God confidence that he has a better plan than I could ever try to put together myself. And as long as I lean in on him more, the things of the world, the stuff that tries to get in the way is going to stay away. If I can lean more on him, the other things are going to stay away. And sometimes it takes literally jumping in his lap and saying, God, please take me. I don't want to deal with the mess of this world, the mess of the relationships, the mess of all the things that I see th this destruction and happening and, and, and just fear and all that. Please, I'm going to jump in your lap. Please, I'm going to lean on you. And he's never steered me in the wrong direction. You know that it may be not in the timing that I want it, but I can tell you every single time and I struggle, but every single time I've leaned on the Lord, he's taken care of me and he'll take care of you as well. And sometimes that just means opening up your life and your heart to him to understand that, man, I don't have it handled. I don't have it figured out. It's OK if you don't. I still don't have it figured out either, but I can rely and lean on his trust to help get me through any kind of storm any kind of struggle, any areas that I feel weak, whether it be physical weakness, whether it be worldly kind of weakness, succumbing to kind of the temptations of this world, right? So that's all I have. That's my encouragement. But listen, at 11 a.m., come join me. It's just going to be a conversation. We're going to talk about a faith-fueled life and pursuing it through fitness and eating healthy and nutrition and the nutritionist um, Isabel Price is going to join me, my friend, and, and we're going to share with you what that looks like. And we're going to hope to encourage you. And if you are a believer, if you are a Christian or a follower of Jesus, is that you're going to want to chime into this. Because I'll tell you what, if there's anybody that I've met kind of on fire for the Lord, besides myself, because I'm living with myself, Isabel is that person and she's doing some amazing things. And I cannot wait to introduce you to her. So take care. God bless. I hope you have an amazing morning. And we'll talk soon. We'll see you.